happy Sunday when you're watching this. <laughs> um, it's actually Saturday early morning here. And I just got back from the conference. Uh, some of the talks started um, around 7, so it's actually about 9 now. And I'm going to go out and meet somebody for coffee in a little bit. Um, and I'll take you guys along because it's going to be exciting. But I wanted to tell you guys about last night. So I ended up going, um, first I had a... Um, uh, a little like cocktail hour uh, with some friends of mine around like I don't know 5:30, um, and then after that, Angie of Angie's Hot and Flashy, um, she had mentioned that she because she's here with Neutrogena, they always have a big party every year um, at this conference, and I went to it. I don't know, maybe five years ago, I want to say. A long time ago and I you have to be on you have to like let them know in advance and get on the list or whatever and you know yours truly didn't didn't do that obviously this year but Angie got me in and it was so much fun so I of course got shots of it and filmed it so I'm gonna put that footage in all right so here is my outfit you guys remember this dress from my little Nordstrom Nordstrom shopping trip this is that um Oh dear, what is it called? Top Shop, Top Shop little dress that I got, little green one. And the zipper is still really sticky, but I overcame that by zipping it before before putting it on, which was a little bit of a noodle dance, but it worked out. And um, yeah, just got my little shoes on. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. I uh, know I'm um, I'm from uh, Houston. Oh, Texas. Yeah. I lived in New York for a little while though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was always uh, I was always having writers that uh, they have conferences here that's that they're sometimes from New York. Oh yeah. It's uh, close to New York, so yes. that makes sense they yes. come here. <laughs> and Houston I think it's about uh, three hours. Three hours of flight. Yeah. It was pretty quick. Yeah, quick two hours. Yeah, I noticed that when I was from California it's about five six hours yeah california is a haul <laughs> yeah. especially if you go from new york to california that it feels like that's a long trip i've made that several times <laughs> and i always arrive a little out of sorts mm, I see. so i'm in my uber i decided to take an uber even though it's not too too far away because it's pretty pretty rainy drizzly wet and I didn't want to arrive looking like a wet noodle so. <laughs> yeah That's nice. so That's I nice it's a day with Dr. Dre a day with Dr. Dre yeah it's um, like vlogs which are video logs of my life and then it's like a video diary yeah and then it's skincare skincare product reviews oh that's very nice yeah. And it's in the Kogod, Kogod Courtyard in the National Portrait Museum. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Like 
stream of water here with these little tea lights and people keep walking across it because they don't realize there's water and then as they're walking across they're like oh my feet are wet <laughs> i don't think that was as strategically planned as as imaginable but I, it's pretty remarkable how it stays within the context oh i see there's a drain over there yeah you can see people haphazardly walked across there's nothing on the invitation i guess it said bring your bring your wellies oh gosh guys look at all that uneaten broccoli over there the cheese plate has been demolished but nobody's touching the cauliflower it's crying I'd, I'd go attack it with all my heart, except I don't want, want it in my teeth. <laughs> seeing Jennifer Garner and it was so cool that she was there being interviewed by um, the dermatologist Doris Day just kind of about her sunscreen pattern use <laughs> um, and it was fun hanging out with Angie it's so cool like it's kind of a little bit isolating being a youtuber because nobody really knows about what it entails and you know sometimes they see you talking to the camera and they're like whatever she's doing her thing but to actually meet somebody who you watch and who is just as cool in real life as they appear to be on YouTube and just as nice and kind of gets, you know, what it is that it all involves. That was really cool. So I had a great time. 
and uh, yeah, the only <laughs> issue was, so I did, I ended up taking a cab there because it was raining. Uh, I took an Uber, and then when I left, I had to get an Uber back, and right as I, I was getting ready to leave, it started like pouring down rain, and it was at the portrait gallery, the National Portrait Gallery. Uh, so when I, when it said my Uber was arriving, I kind of had to bolt outside, but like <laughs> this massive museum, you know, the steps of the museum was kind of rather daunting. So I ended up being outside for a long time. And then my Uber driver, <laughs> poor thing, he was all the way on kind of the other side. So I, and it, they said, it said it was a Toyota Camry. Well, I, Camry. Well, I get out of the Smithsonian, I get out of the museum and it's like, a sea of Toyota Camrys. I'm like, does everyone in the DC area drive a Toyota Camry? Um, and I got in the wrong Uber. <laughs> they kicked me out. And then I finally found him and I was freezing, freezing cold. So when I got home, I had taken a shower before I left, but when I got back to the room, I did the, I did the, I did a bad, bad thing. I got in the shower and I turned the water on really, really hot and I stayed in there for longer than the recommended 10 minutes. Sorry, I was cold. <laughs> um, but yeah, then I edited uh, yesterday's vlog and got it up for you guys. And I'm on a Bonnie Rebecca binge. I, I don't know about you guys, but like I can't just go to bed without some sort of like either reading or whatever. And I was kind of, you know, amped up on broccoli. <laughs> Because <laughs> I didn't, it's, it's not like I drank a lot of caffeine yesterday or anything. I was just a little wired and, you know, excited. So I've been on a Bonnie Rebecca binge watching all of her videos from like the beginning. I don't know if it's from the beginning of her channel, but as far back as they go. I'm like at the point now where she's road tripping through the U.S. And last night I watched the one where she went to Chicago and she ate at the Chicago diner. I was like, oh my God, I was there. And it's so cool to see people going to places in the U.S. that you've been to yourself and uh, them experiencing it. So I, I ended up staying up until like 1.30 in the morning watching her videos. So <laughs> this trip, not a good example in bathing practices with that long hot shower and not a good example in, in sleep patterns, but YOLO. <laughs> Anyways, let me show you guys what I'm wearing today. All right, I've just got my little lavender sweater on and then I'm just wearing a white a white Felina layering tank on underneath. I don't know, I'm one of those people I can't just put sweater on bare skin. Is anyone else like that? I don't know. It's the, it's, it's the, it's the um, atopic in me. It's the idea of having, this isn't wool, but it's the idea of having wool on skin that just, <laughs> you need a barrier. But anyways, and then I've got these little Kaz, oops, these little Kazlon um, pants. I love these. Um, so I'm wearing those, um, and then I've got, of course, my compression stocks. And these little Sam Edelman pumps, they have been, they have been just the right thing. They're super comfortable, um, and they're not, I'm not into stilettos. Um, they're cool if you, you know, I don't know. I just think, as Martha always says, the right tool for the right project, and I don't know, for me, stilettos, they're never the right tool. <laughs> but these are serving serving their function. Uh, they were a good buy. I got them at uh, TJ Maxx, but um, I saw you can get them, I think you can get them at, um, they may still have them. I'll listen down below if I can find them for you guys, but they're really comfortable, and I think I paid like, I don't know, 30 bucks for them. Not too, too bad. All right, I'm here at the Eaton, Eaton, or Eaton <laughs> Hotel. Maybe I should have stayed here. They have gym uh, wellness classes. Wow. Scent and sound bath. Looks awesome. All right, guys. So I just had coffee with somebody very special that I know you all rather are rather fond of, as am I. It's Dr. Sam. Hey, guys. <laughs> we just How had special coffee. is this? Yeah. We are at, what's the name of your the Eaton, DC. Yeah, and they have Shaga Elixir here. And I literally thought of Dr. Suarez, I keep calling you Dr. Dre, Dr. <laughs> Suarez. Yesterday I thought, oh my God, I have to catch up with you. And then I saw you posting yeah. when you were here, and I was like, let's have that coffee. Yeah, yeah, it's funny because someone, um, someone thought my last name was Dre, and they thought my name was Andrea Dre. <laughs> but Dre is just my nickname. It's <laughs> funny, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
yeah, we're here. We had a great time, and um, you got your fantastic sunscreen. I'm looking forward to yeah, trying it. Yeah, very exciting to share that with you in person. Yeah. But um, we've been talking all about social media and yeah. um, plotting some interesting things, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yes. It's good, to, it's good to meet somebody who actually is in the social media space, which is everyone else here. Who's so like, nice. What are you doing? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're How putting you your life your on the internet? Are you crazy? Yeah. Yeah. So... It's nice to find somebody who's also crazy. <laughs> but good crazy. Good crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we had a great, great chat. So, yay! See you again. Bye. And then, perhaps most importantly, how are we going to use this? So, I'll start kind of where Bethany ended. What is my practical approach? Very similar to hers, we can use 25 to 200 milligrams a day. I can't even tell you the last time I had somebody on 200 milligrams a day. I think you get problems with side effects there. I do think every now and then for hair loss, we're going to end up in that higher range. But for acne, I am 25 to 100. Some of that is just talking about it and communicating it to your patients. All the time, I'm using this in combination with something else. Now, Bethany already said this may take three months to kick in. So while it kicks in, we're co-prescribing. So sorry, Dr. Barbieri, sometimes I'm using them both. You know, I know we'd like to replace some antibiotics, but sometimes I'm over. Hey guys, it is evening time. I am back uh, from the conference today. I um, mostly was in talks. I had a nice time though meeting Dr. Sam. That was awesome. And uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing her. I uh, hopefully got a, try, I try and get a few little audio clips here and there of some of the talks just so you guys kind of see like, you know, what I'm doing. I can't exactly vlog during the talk. Anyways, guys, I am going to have dinner with a friend and later on tonight. So I'm going to go to the gym, take a shower, and I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, tomorrow, we'll see what the day brings. There are some fun talks, some on sunscreen tomorrow that I hope to go to. So... Stay tuned for that, but thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.